constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. A number of parliamentarians representing the joint opposition today called on former President's Secretary Lalit Viratunga and former Director General of the Telecommunications Regulatory Commission Anusha Palpita at the Velikada Prison. For the first time in our history, imprisonments have been made for implementing command of the President by the power vested on him by the Constitution. There are crimes like the bond issue that have astounded the public. Former Presidential Secretary Lalit Viratunga, however, is a person who has never stolen a single cent during the course of his public service. We will not abandon him and we will appeal against the ruling. Meanwhile, a number of opinions on the issue were also voiced elsewhere in the political arena. As far as I know, Lalit Viratunga is a true gentleman. He never admitted he was fulfilling orders from above. I wonder why things like this happen to good people. I was completely shocked by the ruling. However, I'd like to remind state officials that if you associate bad company, you will feel the effects. If honest officials like Lalit Viratunga are jailed for one and a half years, the officials linked to the bond scam and the politicians who protect them should be jailed for at least 15 years. <laughs> President Maitri Palasirisena has borrowed 5 billion rupees for flood relief. If 600 million rupees call for a three-year jail term, what about 5 billion rupees? We welcome the punishment meted out over the corruption allegations. We, however, will not be hypnotized by this alone.